When I was very happy about something, I would like to choose to drink a cup of cocktail. Today, let's talk about the Ricoh Theta Z1 because I've never thought about this camera could be better again. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you everything I know about this update and the story behind the scenes. My name is Yu Xun Guo. I'm a 360 maniac, and on my YouTube channel, you can learn a lot about 360 photography and master the one-shot 360 camera like never before. So first, let's talk about the update since we have the Ricoh Theta Theta 2.0. So we have the animated photo in the Theta app. I suggest that you try it on your own, but that is not the point of this video. What I want to share with you is that from now on, Ricoh Theta Z1 officially support the HDR DNG file. So not compatible DNG file might become a part of history. That is huge. To achieve that update, you need to install the DualFishLight plugin 2.8 as well as the Ricoh Theta Stitcher 2.1, which you can download on the Theta 360 website. In my opinion, this has never happened on the Ricoh Theta series because to accomplish this update, the best engineer, the best third party developer like Yoshi Hirota, the best photographer in our community, we deep collaborate each other and we work really hard and we are very happy today that we finally made it and to share with you more about it i would like to show you some live demo with the dual fish eye plugin 2.8 as well as the Ricoh theta stitcher 2.1 and you can see that now you can stitch flawlessly and very fluent with the lightroom workflow with the Ricoh theta stitcher 2.1 today is uh the June 11, 2020. And yes, you can see I'm going to have my lunch inside this uh, convenience store. The interior shot is quite dark, but the outside is very bright. Yeah, you can see this is my lunch. It's a Heineken beer. And there's some fresh, very delicious food. And then my setup, the counterweight on the bottom, selfie stick very short, and the Rico Sita Z1 running the dual fish eye plugin 2.8. <clears throat> and now it's a live preview of the situation. You can see the interior shot is really dark. And now I'm going to have my lunch. Here is my beer, yeah. Set to the AV. If you want to have a very good interior shot, you can see. The outside is blown out. You can see it in real time, the live preview. So, this is a great place to shot in HDR DNG with still fisheye plugging. And yeah, with this update, the Ricoh Cito Z1 got better again. So, cheers, cheers to Ricoh, cheers to all the users of the Ricoh Cito Z1. Yeah. Okay, now I'm uh, going to take the shot. Long press the mode button. Do fish eye blogging. HRD and G9. Okay, that is. Yeah, now I'm going to take the shot. Test the compatibility between this puppet. Processing and stacking 9 of the images. And that's from the previous uh, video. You can see I was uh, smiling to the to you guys. So test the deghosting and motion compensation in the in camera stack of the HDR DNG. Okay, the stacking is really fast. Okay. Now let's take a look at the new workflow after the HDR DNG got official support with the Ricoh and the Ricoh Theta Z1. Here, after shooting with the dual fish eye plugin 2.8, I have copied and pasted all the DNG file captured with dual fish eye plugin into my computer, and I intentionally create two folders. One of them only have the official DNG, and one of them only have HDR DNG camera capture with the dual fish eye plugin minus four to plus four with HDR nine shot in bracket and stacking directly in the camera. So in this folder, I only have the HDR DNG in 16-bit floating format. Import all the photos into Adobe Photoshop Lightroom. And before opening the Lightroom, I have installed the Ricoh Theta Stitcher 2.1. Now let me show you the basic uh, color correction about the 16-bit floating HDR DNG file. And uh, now I am uh, choose the auto because that will give me a very good starting point. And don't be afraid about the dark interior shot because we have so much information in the 16-bit floating DNG. And we can bring back all the detail in the 
in the shadow areas without any noise because it has been uh, stacking in the camera. I was making faces toward the camera as you can see in my vlog. So with the motion composition you can see um, very clear and sharp in the final shot. And for the outside you can see we, we can pull back the highlight and we can bring back all the details of the outside and it's really amazing. And there are people moving around without any ghosting. That is the magic part about dual fisheye plugin in camera stacking with motion composition. Yeah, I didn't smile. I forgot to smile once again. <laughs> yeah, uh, with the sync settings in the Adobe Photoshop Lightroom so that we can have a new, brand new, uh, very the exactly the same settings with uh, another HDR DNG. This one is just got a lot better. It's a very interesting expressions and also the food, it looks really delicious. And after that, you can see we can uh, right click on the files and uh, edit in the resetter feature or we can go to this uh, settings and edit in the choose edit in the theta feature and we choose to edit copy with lightroom adjustment the recall theta feature will directly support the hdr dng stitching and now the lightroom is exporting in tip format and after that you will see the new recall theta feature 2.1 2.1 now directly stage the files for us. That is insane, right? It's never happened before. So now there is no difference between the HDR DNG and the official DNG for the Recall Theta D1 users. And also you can see that we can do batch process with the delete this one. And we can also batch process with the Recall Theta feature with the HDR DNG. Just the multi slag in Lightroom and edit copy with Lightroom adjustment and Lightroom will automatically export all the files in TIP format and enable the batch process in the Recall Theta Stitcher. So this is also working. HDR DNG is now officially supported with Recall. There's no difference between the HDR DNG and the official DNG. The option process and next or the batch processing. And with the off we collect to the off and uh, batch processing and you can see now it's batch process all the files for us and now we can see the very high quality equirectangular format uh, directly with our new workflow and we can bring back all the details in the highlight and shadows with the help of the HDR DNG so after the official support with the recall about HDR DNG the workflow has never been so Fast. So the workflow about the Recall Theta D1 has never been so complete. So after live demo, I'd like to share with you the story behind this update. For the Recall Theta, this is just a very small update on the Recall Theta Stitcher. But for the Recall Theta D1, as well as our whole 360 community, this is huge because this update has been accomplished by all the engineers, developers, photographers, and all of my subscribers. And thanks to Rico Engineer, they watch every one of my video on my YouTube channel and they watch carefully on every comment you leave down below on my YouTube video. And it's never happened on the Rico see the history that the Rico officially support and choose to change themselves to be compatible with the third party plugins such as the dual fish eye plugin. HDR DNG is a very new format for the camera industry, including the 360 cameras industry. And to have a very complete and fluent workflow with HDR DNG, the camera manufacturers, the engineers, the photographers, as well as the best third party developers, we have to work, we have to collaborate very deep and we have to work really hard to make it work. Uh, for the dual fish eye 2.8 update, what Yoshi Hirota told you is that he has added an exposure composition, but he didn't tell you that he has made some modifications and he has implemented the Rico private specification for the DNG file inside this HDR DNG. In the latest update about the Rico Theta Stitcher 2.1, the Rico engineer has implemented their private support for Yoshi Hirota's HDR DNG with the Rico's private specification inside his file. And the two parts works very deep, collaborate together and finally make this workflow flawlessly and very fast and very fluent in Lightroom. 
I'm very happy to see this result. From start to finish about this update, it only take Rico, a big company, 27 days. This is really a breakthrough and uh, it's really fast and responsive. The Rico engineer is very smart and they figure out the key part of the issue and they work with Yoshi and they look very carefully on every one of the comments on down in my video and finally have found the perfect solution. So on the camera history, this is the first time that a camera manufacturer officially support HDR DH with the help of a third party developer on the basis of Ricoh's opening developer platform. So for everyone that's watching this video till now, I insist that you go to see the website, download the 2.1 Stitcher and install the DualFusionEye plugin 2.8. They work together and you will find the magic. And I'm very excited to see that the Ricoh Cita Z1 just got better once again. And I'm hoping the Z1 could be better again in the near future. See you next time. Bye. You're